Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here again for another one of our daily energy reads for both the Divine Masculine, the Feminine, and the Union. I started to do these daily energy reads because I was called to by Spirit to further my mission of supporting Twin Flames on this journey as we approach 2020. So if you've landed on this reading and it's not the day that the message was recorded, don't worry, stay, because you may get a special message embedded within for you. So take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you'd like to book a session with me, it's TwinFlameRx.com. On my website, you can also order an email reading. We can do a chat reading. Whatever you prefer, everything is listed on the first page of the website as well as on the consultation page. Thanks for joining me. And we're going to get started. So let's shuffle. I've been noticing that the portal, the 1212 portal energy is opening. And there is the ability for us to balance our unions with our beloveds. But if you're the Divine Feminine, one of the things that you need to do is get into that yin energy of yours. That feminine nurturing receiving and allowing energy, not the energy of doing so much, especially around the full moon. One of the ways that the divine feminine can really kind of get her or his um, finger on the pulse of their twin flame union is to use their intuitive senses, which are heightened at the full moon, which is coming up. So today is the 10th and tomorrow at 11, 11 p.m. for those in the Eastern time zone, we are going to have our full moon. It's going to peak then. So it's shown to be enlisted to be on the 12th, but that's at 12, 11 a.m. So that's at midnight. So really the full moon, when you see it, it'll be at its most fullest point on tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, the 11th. And then it'll start to get smaller. So the energy is building up. All right, we're going to start off by pulling a card for the Divine Feminine Energy, the Masculine, and the Union Energy. So we're in our thoughts today. So it's not just the Divine Masculine that's in their thoughts with the swords, but the Divine Feminine. And the Divine Feminine's in this energy of feeling either taken for granted or trying to recover what's been lost mentally, like trying to make sense of everything within his or her mind. Some can read this as trying to get away with something, like, you know, running away with those five swords. Uh, there's seven, so this is the seven of swords. This is a divine number, though. It's at this point in contemplation that you can transcend. So if you're the divine feminine having this kind of contemplative, thoughtful energy going on where you keep thinking, it's because of the full moon, I would say, that you're trying to figure out what it is that either worked or didn't work in your twin flame relationship or in other relationships or in other situations. Whatever doesn't serve you, that's what you need to let go of energetically. Release it. You can write yourself a note and rip it up into small shreds. And if it's safe, you can flush it in the toilet or you can burn it in the moonlight. And that will be a release of energy because the paper will just change its form into something different and so will the thought forms that have been plaguing you. If you're the Divine Masculine or watching for them, the energy is the Knight of Swords for today. So what is this about? Well, it's about coming in, rushing in to communicate with your beloved. I was busy doing something and I saw a call coming in from my beloved and we hadn't talked in a week or so. So, you know, I feel like the Divine Masculines are really wanting to reach out and say something, to speak their truth with this sort of truth there. So use your intuition. Both twins are using their intuition. That's what the High Priestess energy is about. The energy of the union or combined energy that both twins are kind of tapping into today is this balanced energy. See the balance between this black and this white column? It shows the balance that we need to obtain between our dark and our light sides. So the things that we don't want to talk about or suppress and the things that we do talk about and bring to light. Well, we have a balance going on here. But most importantly with this high priestess energy, what it's telling me is that both twins are realizing that they both have the ability to tap into their subconscious mind and pull out what needs to get released. 
And that's the key for today is to release, do a spring cleaning, as they say, but just a sweep, get rid of everything that no longer serves you in preparation for tomorrow evening's full moon. I will be here again tomorrow with the energy of tomorrow. And if you'd like a personal reading, you know how to get in touch with me. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're wanting to keep receiving these daily readings, hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload. I'm sending you love, light, and peace. Namaste.